check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hello, fellas. So what you see here is the crankshaft of my kid's RF car. And the problem at hand is that it's broken. And it's broken at position where it takes the heavy load of the car. It's quite a big RF car. So we want to bond that, of course, in the strongest possible way. And that's what I'm gonna tell you today. So let's get started. But before that, please subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon so that you can receive notifications of the latest upcoming videos let's move forward so in order to bond that since this is a load bearing part i'm not going to use any stupid you know super glue but i'm going to use this really strong patex tablet uh, two part glue that becomes something like this and then there is some powder as well and a spatula to put some powder in this region and of course it comes with this as well to mix it up so yeah an important step to bond any kind of two surfaces is that we need to have an extremely good surface preparation of the two broken parts because the biggest enemy of these bonded structures is the surface preparation if it's done badly we need to clean the two surfaces from grease as good as possible it's also really important that if you're using any kind of glue or especially if it is a two-part glue don't forget to wear gloves because these things can be pretty um, you know dangerous for the skin To clean the two surfaces that are to be bonded, I'm going to use rubbing alcohol to remove any grease. Clean it as nicely as possible. Let it dry. Now it's important part so once I have applied the glue I won't have enough time to see where the bonded structure should go so what I am going to do initially is I'm going to try to fit it where it should for example it fits right here and then with a marker rather a permanent marker I'm going to make a mark that this thing goes here so I have a rough idea where this thing is and I don't waste time to see where it goes. I hope you can see that. Yep. Fill this in the small bucket. We don't need much. It sound right boy. So I have mixed it for approximately 3 to 4 minutes continuously. I'm going to apply this on the place where I want to bond it. Cover the two surfaces. This one. So now you see this glue has a coloration. And if you had not made the mark where you have to bond it, you wouldn't recognize it. So you know where the marks are. Try to bond it. Okay. So it's already in that position where I want it to be and I can feel it and then keep it like this and put a little load on this from the top next hold your stuff with 
a tape not too strongly but lightly so that it remains in place with some strength that's recommended by the this company but just for first 10 minutes then you can even remove that we'll be back after 10 minutes support up to 150 kg kilograms per centimeter square so guys this was all what i wanted to share with you actually before i end i thought i should just show you what it looks like at the end so i've installed the crankshaft back or half of it what we just repaired this part i had to file this to bring it according to this circular ring so that it fits nicely in place and then put the wheel back I'll fix this as well and and let's have a reality check thumbs up see you later Check the mic and make sure it sound right boys